an hour ago. But the battery in my phone was dead. So I had to wait for that to charge. Again, I've got to check if... Yeah, okay, we're good. So, have a look. Yeah, that'll do. So, I got this sketchbook about a year ago for a birthday. And I've, this is probably where it all started, I would say, or very early on. And when you get a sketchbook, especially one like this, you kind of treat it like the most precious thing in the world. And I started off doing stuff like this. I remember doing that, that took ages. Really love that, that inspired a, a sketchbook drawing that I did. That inspired, in fact, I can even show you. That inspired. That inspired that one. But I, like, it's all right, but I could have done more. And then I was just trying a few things. That was when I very first got my Tazza pens. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do, drawing a few things. I actually quite like that. And then I kind of, I was talking in my earlier stream about how I neglected certain areas of my drawing because I wasn't confident or I didn't like it. I'd say the very first drawing that made me do it was this one. That's one of my favorite drawings I've ever done. And that drawing, this drawing here is this one of the reasons why I want to possibly start a new series in this sketchbook where I do A5 stuff and then this is just me messing about not really anything so I thought I'd just have a bit of a play play around, muck about I mean this is what I'd be doing now why, why not stream it Get some sources of inspiration up as well. Um, the very artist that inspired me to start doing this, Peter Draws. I have some of his books here. That's one of them. But yeah, just to try out a few different things see where to go with them. One of his drawings as well, I'll show you which one is one of my favourites, I think it's in here. That really heavily inspired me. Is it in this one? That might be in this one. Here. I don't want to put too much of it on camera because I would encourage everybody to go and get it. This is such a good book. Where are you? That was one of them. This one here. That inspired me. And there, that's it. This one. That's probably the drawing of his that inspired me the most. Oh, as I drop his other book on the floor. So I'm gonna have that there, just to pick up some inspiration. Let's do some drawing. So this is, the idea behind this is it's gonna be a bit more random. And I've got the wrong pen. So instead of like being more, so whereas before like my normal drawings would be, I'd have a cheat sheet, I'd have like a set series of shapes that I'd wanna 
maybe outline first and you know I'd have like a set routine of doing um, like I do the outline then I'd thicken out the border then do maybe the inner details and the outer details picking colors all that sort of stuff this is going to be more completely random just to see what I come up with just to see if I can sort of maybe be a bit more playful have a different type of drawing Just to, it's mainly just so I can get some use out of this sketchbook and just mess about with a different type of drawing. Play about with different ideas as well. Keep this to black and white. One of the reasons as well, so I don't get bored, like just repeating, repeatedly drawing the same stuff over and over and over again. Like yesterday, I went back to messing about with some graffiti styles. Uh, did my Arteza drawing today. A sketchbook one on Monday Yeah, I've got absolutely no plan for this drawing. It's just random, random, utterly random. Let's see what happens.
but I don't know whether to do this as a live series or as a sped up. I don't know, I'll probably do this one as a live. think since I've already got my graffiti ones and my um, sketchbook as a sped up version and I plan to add the um, A6 ones, the shorts to YouTube channel as well. I need to get on that. I've been meaning to do that for a few for a couple of weeks. Just not got around to it. Oh, it keeps... Oh, hello. Oh, it's doing that annoying thing again where it's focusing on the tip of my pen as opposed to the paper. I don't know how to lock focus in... Um... I wish I knew how. I wish I knew how. But I do not. thing I want to do more is mess about with dots like this dots and dashes apply that a bit more to my drawings just give it a bit more texture a bit more a bit more detail
This literally could be anything. I don't know how to get the camera to focus in on the drawing, not the pen. Just get a drink. Oh, I wish I knew. We have a viewer. Hi, viewer. I wonder if it's the same person from last time.
excuse me. It's actually kind of fun drawing like this, just not having to think about anything, just doing a set of random lines, see where they take, see what happens. On my original YouTube channel, I uh, like I was very heavily inspired by Peter, Peter George's channel. Um, and a lot, a lot of the drawings I was doing were a bit too similar to his. They were like really, really naff versions of his. But I think now because I've got my own, I'm starting to develop my own kind of style. It's starting to look a little bit like a cross between like works inspired by his and blended with a little bit of mine. Yeah, I want to get my um, timetable up. I might start making room for drawings like this. I mean, how how uh, how long have we been out of this one for? So twenty six minutes. 
Again, if it's just an hour out of the day, I'm sure I can spare that somewhere once a week. I think that could be the key as well to maybe helping my YouTube channel grow. Just sort of varying it up a bit. And variety being the spice of life and all that stuff. What would I do? I'm trying to think. Now, there's no reason I can't do an A6 drawing every day. I think one of the problems with my A6 piece is, is that I'm doing one a page, and because it's so, this is the book, this is my A6 stuff. And the problem is when I'm drawing, when I get to sort of here the top of the page it's really awkward to draw and that's put me off a little bit um, I've been looking for sort of folders to put it in but I've not been able to find any uh, any well sorry that is a lot I have found an a6 folder but it, it the folders are just slightly too small for that paper so the only th other thing I can think of is just maybe an A5 wallet and then just do two. Two per page. I always say every weekend, oh, this weekend I'll do it, and then I end up having to do something else, and or forget, or I just put it off. And I think now, if you actually get a proper timetable going, follow it. It helps for someone like me as well, who at times isn't necessarily the most productive. I can think of excuses not to do something. I think, oh, I'll do this later, or I can do it tomorrow, and tomorrow comes and I'll have something else to do, and blah, blah, blah. I think I'm somebody who needs a timetable to stick to, to help me be a bit more productive. Because there's loads of stuff I want to do, loads of little projects and additions and sort of prints I want to start making, all that kind of thing. It's just how best to find time for it all, if anything. But I'm very much enjoying drawing like this. There's no thought process. There's no. I think this would be good for me as well in the future because I'm an annoying perfectionist. Like there was a stream I did a few days ago where I was thinking of ideas um, and I changed the flow of how I was drawing and it just felt so much better. And I applied that to my most recent sketchbook drawings and the, made the world a difference. Because I wasn't hyper-focusing on making every line perfect. And I think stuff like this will help me even more because I'm not. it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just me messing about. You know, the whole point of this is to be messy and just have a bit of fun. It's not meant to be perfect. I think this could help me out so my work's not as rigid.
Well, not, 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 not necessarily the idea, but the workflow. Like, I'm quite... I think, oh, if this line's not exactly how I want it to be, then it's going to look rubbish, and then I'll not want to post it, or I'll not want to finish it. I'll give myself an excuse not to carry on. And it's like, no, it just doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how bad it is. I think that's what happened with the graffiti pieces. Like I wasn't happy with them. So I kind of used it as an excuse not to, to do anything with it. I kind of shied away from working on it. But then I did a stream yesterday. I actually streamed my thought process and what I was trying to do. And I felt better for it. So I thought, well, why not just do that with everything then? Like I, pl I planned on doing this. I had came up with this idea yesterday. So just come back to this sketchbook, revisit it, draw in a completely different way to how I normally draw. And I just thought, well, why not stream while you're doing it? It's not going to hurt. That's what YouTube's there for. If you can stream now on YouTube, why not take advantage of that? Let other people have a look in, see, see what they think. Well, I only seem to get sort of one, maybe two viewers, but who knows, that might increase the more I stream, the more I post, who knows. You just never know. Don't know until you try it, do you? This looks like some busted machine. My other phone. My old phone. Oh, I've got a message. I got inspired watching your computer so I can sketch it. Oh, it's from my uh, good friend Koob, who's been drawing. Yeah, I've just got a message on Instagram, and as I've done that, I've just, <laughs> speaking of uh, which, I've been saying I'm inspired by Peter Draws. He's just posted a new picture. Shush. I was just checking my TikTok. I've gone up a little bit. Yeah, I t I've tried um, someone, uh, one of the uh, fellow artists that I follow. He constantly puts up his work he's, he's called art like a h h h h h r t and he draws like um monsters 
kind of reminiscent of monsters in my pocket, that kind of stuff. They're really, really good. Um, and uh, he posts um, his work, but he'll have like a like a, a specific sound bite in the background. Like um, if you're an artist, you know, like, share, and subscribe, blah blah blah, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I've tried out a couple of the one, a couple of the sound bites that he's used because apparently the TikTok al algorithm. I've noticed this, and a couple of others have. My last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, my last seven TikTok uploads seem to cap out at around about two hundred and fifty. They just don't ever seem to go further than that. Now, now I understand that I'm not going to get a lot of hits because I'm I've not got the most amount of followers. I think I've only got four hundred. What have I got? Four hundred fifty-three. There's my wife shouting at my daughter. Um, but yeah, see, I don't, I don't know. I think it's just I've moaned about this before. Just algorithms in general. I don't know how they work. Hey, Coob, how you doing? Yeah, I, I said. Um, yeah, I know. I said I'd be on at six, but I had to charge my phone up, so I had to wait. But yeah, just trying something new, just, there's no, like before normally you'd be used to me sort of drawing from a cheat sheet and all that kind of business. This one, none of that, I'm not following any sort of guidelines that I've made for myself or any sort of pattern, it's just get in there and draw, see what happens. Let's do some random lines. This very much heavily inspired by Peter Draws himself. Since he seems to draw just random stuff, so I thought, well, it's what inspired me in the first place, and I think it'll actually help me because it will it will help me relax more when I'm drawing, not make me think I've got to be as meticulous with everything. I can just be a bit freer, be a bit looser. And I was going to turn this into maybe one hour a week. Just one hour a week, just to... Because I'd probably be doing this anyway. Just one hour. Just have a scribble in this book to, you know, keep my drawings fresh, keep my ideas fresh. You know, if I'm going to be doing it anyway, why not document it? Why not? Um, live stream it, that's the whole point. And good work on your, I've just seen your, uh, you're drawing really good work on the graffiti. Very much my kind of thing, I like it a lot. There's a load of graffiti artists I'd recommend. Someone was in here earlier who liked my work, which was very nice of them. Sadly, I won't be able to stick around. That's fine. Got a bad case of inspiration to make music. Oh, absolutely. Main intro, can't put myself away. That drawing you work on does look more relaxed. Still get stuff. Pete would be proud. Now I'm glad I inspired you, but now, nah, man, if you've got... Um, if you've got... Uh, inspired and you... Uh, You've got something on the go, get to it, man. I know what that's like. I tend to get it when I'm in bed. Like if I've gone to bed and I'll think of something that I think, oh, I could draw that. Sometimes I will actually get out of bed and, and jot it down or do a rough, a rough sort of drawing. 
but definitely if you've got the creative juices flowing jump on it especially with your music as well But yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'll dedicate an hour a day. Well, it doesn't have to be an hour exactly, but roughly an hour. What have been on this? I've only been 41 minutes on this. But just a page a day in here, just drawing. Not even drawing, just scribbling. I think as well if I have a schedule that might incentivize people a bit more to come and join. Because my live streams at the minute, with the exception of Fridays when they actually pop up with no warning. So it's probably going to be difficult for people to jump in if they don't know I'm here. I used to, I really like the sort of line effect like this. I used to, I did a couple of drawings like this where I used a lot of the line effects like that. Where I just do some lines like this. And just jot them out. work around it like this. That's a decent effort so far. And then, I don't know, use a thinner pen. My point in one.
Oof. Page A sounds like a good goal. Yeah? Don't know. See how it goes. I'm off to work on some music now. Take care and enjoy the process. Thank you very much. Enjoy um, enjoy making your music. I'm sure it'll be a belter. Can't wait to hear it. I didn't really want that looking like that, but it's fine. But that's the whole point. Don't think about it. Don't think, oh no, this looks rubbish now. No, no, no. Messing about. You're playing around. That's the whole point. Yeah, I quite like this. Oh, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to leave it there because I'm desperate for the loo. But it was just, this was the whole point of this was maybe just to get at least an hour in. What, what 52 minutes? Yeah, just to... Sort of see where we end up, just to see what... what comes out of it and I actually quite like the result of this
This is a little bit more calculated than the rest of the drawing, but not matter. But yeah, I quite like I quite like that. Yeah, I'll keep it to just black and white with these ones, but I'll probably switch pens or pen widths like I've done in the past just to again have another little play about with it, but yeah, I, I don't mind that at all. That's you did, Lee. But yeah, I'll get that on my Instagram. I'll tag Peter in it, see what he thinks. Well, he might not even see it, probably just a million tags a day but that is the first of many i hope where at least at least an hour a week or a page i will say a pen on an hour because i don't know how long it'll take but a page a week at least maybe two just when i've got nothing else on when the ideas are drying up just come in here get back in this sketchbook just start scribbling stuff down no thought process, no cheat sheet. It doesn't have to be meticulous. Just get lines down and see what happens. Um, thanks to Coob again for coming in. Thanks to anyone else who came in to have a quick watch. Um, this weekend, or at the very least, early next week, I need to get a timetable going so people know when to come and get me, uh, when to come and watch. Because with the exception of Friday stream, these are completely random, so... I'm not really expecting many people to see him, but until next time, have a good night, have a good weekend, see you soon.